video today we're tying a Betis nymph the hook I'm using is a standard wire size 14 hook and the thread is the unithread adot in tam and we'll just start by taking down the thread to the bend or the barb of the hook and here we can cut off the excess And here we'll tie in the tail, which is made out of partridge feather, and I tie it in just at the barb of the hook. This so a little too long, so I'm just pulling the fibers. And now we can bring up the thread all along the body. And cut it off. You want to leave a third for the thorax. So we'll just park the thread here. And now tie in the second material, which is some nylon and I just pinch it between my teeth to make it easier to grip and now we have our ribbing tied in For the body, I'm using this dubbing, which is the life cycle from Wopsy. And this one is in brown and olive. And I'll mix it with some grey. But you can do this, this fly in many colors, ranging from light tan to dark brown and it's just to imitate what's in your waters so for this one I'm using this grey and olive mix and will build up a quite thin body but with a slight taper to it being thicker and thicker and I stop at the two third point leaving one third for the thorax and now I wind up the ribbing and I counter wrap this one to make some nice segments. Four turns is enough. And then pass your thread over, then one time in front, over and lock down, over and lock down. And now we can risk cutting it off sometimes to tidy up and there's our body with the ribbing finished and if you want to you can just brush out some of the dubbing To make it look like some gills on the side of the nymph. Now we'll tie in the thorax cover and I'm using some grey brown CDC feather 
so I tighten just in front of the body and then just one loose turn over then pull it and tie down tidying up in front and for the thorax I'm using the same dubbing mix as before and I'll just do the same mix once more just pull it through your fingers don't tear the fibers but just pull and then dab it on to your thread you don't need much just to build up the shape of the thorax and you want the thorax to be a little thicker than the body to imitate the shape of the mayfly nymphs and there's our thorax and now the thing to do is to tie in the legs I use another and this one has already been used so it has this V shape and I tighten on both sides of the hook and make sure it's in place you can move around the fibers a little that's okay so I cut off the excess and then holding the fibers you can tidy up in front a little and now we'll just take the thorax cover and come up with it over the thorax this will also help the legs to be in the right place some turns to secure and cut it off the last thing to do is to build up a little head in front and whip finish three turns is enough there we go now you can Cut off your thread. And I'll just put a drop of glue to secure all around the head. And there's a baitis nymph.